Here we are in April, April 1st, and the block we have today is the four patch connector, and it will be sampler setting number four. This is very similar to the nine patch connector that we did earlier. It's just slightly different, so you might like this better. Here's the picture, here's the diagram, and here's what a sampler quilt might look like. It's hard to tell with all these lines in here, but these diagonals are the dark fabrics, and then the lighter diagonals go this way. Here are the dark diagonals and the lighter diagonals. Let's look at the patches. Patch A is a two inch finished square. We're going to cut our squares at two and a half inches. These are the rotary cutting instructions on this side. We'll need six patches of the light fabric and six patches of the dark fabric. Here is your AccuQuilt die if you use AccuQuilt. Patch B is two inch by eight inch finished rectangle. We're going to cut eight and a half inches by two and a half inches, and we need four patches of the background fabric. There is no AccuQuilt die that I could find for this. And patch C is a two by four inch finished rectangle. We're going to cut it four and a half inches by two and a half inches and we'll need four patches of the background fabric for this as well. And here is the AccuQuilt die if you have that. These are both in the eight inch cube and there are some other dies too that you might have on hand. I also included some instructions. If you want to make 18 of these connector blocks, this quilt is set five across by seven down and it makes a 60 by 84 inch quilt. There are 35 blocks and 18 of them are these connector blocks. Then there are 17 of the sampler quilt blocks. I have included yardage and cutting requirements if you want to make these 18 connector blocks. There is a way you can strip piece these as well, but I just didn't include those instructions here. These you cut individual pieces. So from the dark and medium fabrics, you'll need three quarter yards each. And from the background fabric, you'll need two yards then the binding fabric is three quarter yards to finish that quilt. So those are there if you need them. Now let's look at the fabrics I've chosen. Here is the dark fabric, here's the medium fabric, and then we have white tone on tone for the background fabric. For this one we're just going to look at the diagram and put the quilt block together. We'll start with the four patch in the center. stitch this together I'm going to start in the middle and piece this four patch then piece probably these sides to the four patch and then piece this little piece here and then this little piece down here and piece that together then piece these sides to this and then piece the top and the bottom row then you'll be finished I'll show you my progress here so you can see Thanks for watching.